Do you mind introducing yourself? No, I'm uh, Cynthia Self, and I am Distinguished Humanities Professor in the Department of English at Ohio State University. Thank you, and thank you for being willing to participate in this interview. Um, to start off, would you mind telling me a little bit about your background and um, how you got interested in composition, literacy, and digital studies? Yes, um, my, um, when I left the University of Wisconsin, I was, as an undergraduate student, I thought I was going to be an English teacher in public schools. And so I uh, went to Scotland and I did a little bit of teaching there in a coal mining district. And then um, when I came back to the United States, I had forgotten to look for a job. So I uh, went out with, I lived in Houston at the time, and I went to all the school districts around Houston, but this was in August, late August, and um, there were no jobs to be had, you know, they had all filled their their jobs except for one school district and that, that it was Northwoods, right? And they were so happy to have me that I should have um, uh, understood uh, what the situation was. That was an all-black school district um, and the poorest school district in the entire um, area and the only one that Houston hadn't annexed because the tax base was so low. So I got a job at the very best school for me because it gave me a chance to learn um, with populations that I had never even imagined teaching and never understood how much uh, I could learn from uh, working with and uh, that was where I got my first job so I taught at Northwoods Junior High for um, three years and it taught me so much that um, I understood by the end of that that I needed to go back to graduate school and learn more about teaching uh, that I was woefully prepared not that the University of Wisconsin had uh, tried to prepare me <laughs> poorly, but um, they prepared me to teach in uh, nice white middle class um, schools. And I knew that I wanted to teach at schools that were very different. Uh, and so I need to go back to the University of Texas and learn how to do this, learn what I could bring. Uh, and so I went back to the University of Texas and started um, my studies in English education. Um, and my um, application was so pathetic to the University of Texas that they didn't accept me. Um, and then the um, day before classes were to start, uh, a woman had to drop out, one of the TAs had to drop out because she was pregnant and I was the first person they called who could come. So I went to Austin, uh, I started studying, and it was a, a golden time because at that particular moment at the University of Texas, uh, uh, Jim Canavy was there, John Ruskowitz, Maxine Hairston, uh, a whole, uh, Steve Witte, Lester Fagley came, a whole host of people that specialized in rhetoric and composition and brought um, a, a very broad and extensive imagination to the field and helped shape the field in those early days of, you know, the um, late 70s uh, going into the 80s. And so while I was at the University of Texas, <laughs> I uh, uh, when it came time to write my dissertation, the, uh, I didn't have enough money to uh, pay a typist. And in those days, you would pay a typist, you'd write your dissertation out longhand, and you'd pay a typist to type it up. And they had to use like five or six different uh, layers of carbon paper. And then if they made a mistake, every letter that they made a mistake, they had to scratch off with a razor blade and retype it. It was a very laborious process and I didn't have the money to do it. I wasn't a good enough typist myself. So um, at, 
uh, one of my um, friends at the time was Hugh Burns, who is known as in our profession as one of the pioneers of um, computing in English studies, and Hugh knew how to use the mainframe computer at the University of Texas. And he thought, and I thought after he told me about this, that I could type it on the mainframe and then get the printout and then we could revise, or I could revise, and um, using the computer and get a cleaner printout until the uh, whole dissertation was done and fairly clean. Uh, and that's how I started using computers. And because so few people in those days, uh, this was 1979-80, uh, used computers, that particular experience made me um, an absolute expert in English studies. And from then on, that was the area I chose to work in.